today finds us at the very remote and very distant location of Turtle Key Marina in the middle of the Panamanian jungle. And the only way for a boat to approach is by coming through a series of reefs into a very narrow channel. It always pays to wait for good weather so you can at least see what's coming your way. Because with any kind of roll coming off of the ocean, you'll have big surf crashing behind you as you make the entrance to the marina. And it is not fun. But here we are with crew on board and we're in the final stages of just doing a few last projects and putting on one of our new sails today before we venture off to the San Blas Islands. They're going to take the second engine and put it on the wooden mount they installed here. And so to get at the engine, we had to lower the dinghy davits so that it could swing out and we could move it. Well, here I'll let you hold this. Okay. Just keep a like, don't pull on it because this tension. will come off. Okay. Just hold it where it is right now until we lower it down and keep tension on it, but don't let it slip out of your hand because the engine will go in the water. Okay. And then we're just going to line it up the height you need, swing it over, and it should line up with that bracket right there. All right. Ready? Up. Okay, and over. A little more. Okay. Now, get it clean and then just start on the other side of the pole. Other side of the pole. Yeah. Oh, other side. There you go. Okay. How's that? Okay, Megan, can you pull it in at all? I'm um, pulling. Yeah, I can pull a little. Ready? Let's give it up a little bit. Okay. Now, we need to swing it around the side. This is where we put a lot of trust. Yeah. Okay, come over here, Alex. What are we up to? We are going to replace the jib sail. Ooh, we're gonna fly the new sail. Well, Eventually. we're gonna install it. We're gonna install it. We're gonna disinstall 
Disinstall? Uninstall? Uninstall. <laughs> the forcing. Cool. And hopefully install the new one. So we released the line from the winch and then the lines on the other side. And we're going to go up on deck to what? To pull it down? Yeah. To pull it out. To pull and it then out. we're going to pull it down from the halyard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to bring the jib down. So I've already slacked the halyard, it's released. Um, what I'm going to do is we've released the furling line. You and I, well, we're going to grab the jib sheet on the port side when we got little or no breeze, which is a good time now, and just pull it straight back. We want it to come straight back. And once it's all the way out, it should start to, like, it'll start to slide down a little bit. But it hasn't been down since, what, 2016, I think, is when we mounted it. So it's probably going to be a little sticky. Once it's open, we just need to keep it tight back here. One of us will go to the front and just start pulling it to get it to come down through the track. Unless it just slides down, which I highly doubt, but hey, <laughs> you never know. Okay, that's it. So, release this. Okay, so jib halyard is slack. It's running free here, so I'll just get it out of the way so it's not right there when the sail comes down to the top of it. Yeah. shackle is actually inside the furler so we need to untie that. We need the Allen key set. Good morning. <laughs> Big project. Oh, 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 oh. Big project today. Shane the jib. Doesn't matter. Would you rather help or recording? The most important thing. No, I need help here. So. It's a slick sound, slicker than some of the boats I've raced on. <laughs> pleased with that. And clean. Yeah. I thought it would be way stickier. Yeah, it's in shape and clean. And she's sliding down nice. It's good. Found up on the highway or something. I thought that was going to take a lot more elbow grease. You see that? Oh, it wasn't tight. Oh, oh, we are so lucky. Wow. Yeah, we're very lucky because this used to have some kind of a tie through it. it. Must have been just a nylon one or something, and it fell off. I guess I don't know, but when it was put up, it had a tie on it for sure. Wow, we are so, so lucky. I didn't even have to unscrew it, I just pulled it out. That's not good. No. Well, this time we'll be sure and put a stainless wrap wire through there. Do you know what a pain in the ass it is if that comes down when you're in the middle of the ocean? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Especially in a storm. Uh huh. Nothing ever breaks in calm weather. Nope, I don't It was just waiting for us. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Canadians know how to do that. <laughs> the sailing snowman. 
Be careful uh -oh, to, the the, hose. to the water line, Rick, in the between. It's in the middle of the way. I have the old. Look, yeah, you, you have a lot of power. Look at that. Finger strength. The feet, Very important. Yeah. And he's like, don't hurt those fingers. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I need it. Okay, so we'll just lift it up and roll it this way. So stand it up. Careful, it might flatten you. <laughs> yeah, I know, seriously. First step, lead. Yeah, we want to take, a take advantage of no breeze, so. We're gonna bring the other sail out now and start putting it up so we can fold this one later. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not raining. Okay, this is the main. We need yeah, to take the jeep. So there's a label on it. Oh, the trick came out easier than the went in. <laughs> wow, the logo! Wow. I saw the logo! Shh, it's a surprise. Okay, now we need the head of the sail. Oh, you need the new lock? Yeah, I'm gonna get some more. Back up? Up slowly, yeah. What do you think, Captain? I think it's okay. It's different than I thought, but it's okay. It's going to be very low. That deck sweeper is going to catch a big wave, though, when we're sailing. That's my last sail was cut that low, and first big wave that hits it, it ripped off the the halyard. Oh. So we're going to have to watch that. But we'll just have to reef it early if we're going to be in deep waves that might splash the sail at the foot. So, okay. Everything else looks okay, so I'll get it wound in, and I think we're good. So let me guess, this little pen goes in first. And then this is the propeller. Huh? Goes in after that. And the washers. Yeah, we just leave the drain out on this side. But it's got a good slant on it now that should drain water out of it while we're sailing. On either tack, hopefully, but that's what we'll find out. And it's at just the right height, keep it locked in well. And then, all for our experiment, we got this, should hang over the side. 
And let's see if it reaches that guy. Oh. Just. No, oh, which way is this going? Got it. There we go. Okay, oh. so now this one is going to plug into this battery up here. And then you should just be able to plug the gauge control unit into the motor and control module. Thank you so much, Manny. You're welcome. And we'll put this one in here. It's in. It's in? It's in. It's in tight, secure. Okay, I turn the battery on. Control unit on. Battery at 97%. So it's picking up the same signal as the other one had, so that's good. Okay, we got that in. Now let's see what happens. Cavitation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a little too high in the water for here, but when we're under sail. Hey. Yeah, this is where we need one of those cavitation plates that they should be sending. But see how it's very close, that's why I wanted to get it a little bit lower down, a little bit more angle, but that's as good as we can get. But I think it should be okay for hydro generation, but that's what we're going to find out. Try reverse. A thousand watts. Only a thousand? Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't put it anywhere close to the limit or anything, that's 800 watts. So if we're only going 3D knots or something out there, we'll kick this thing in a little bit and see what happens. As soon as we're moving, we gain about an extra two to three inches of water depth at the transom of the boat because the water rises up to the transom, to the edge of the boat. But we know it's working, so now we can test it. But it would definitely give us some propulsion. That's 200 watts. So right now it can draw the air straight down, but if we were moving, it's not going to be able to draw the air that easily. Because mm -hmm. there's going to be a column of air moving past the propeller. Okay. Alright, that's it for now. That was very cool. So today... We're going to open the spinnaker and have a look at it. And see what kind of job they did. Oh, we always have to avoid the ant piles. Thanks. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. And no fat jokes. It's too hot for a shirt and pregnancy's been hard on me. <laughs> oh, it's pink. There you go. Take that, masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is called Sophisticated Lady. Is this all that black or navy blue? See, it might be blue, it might be black. Alex, you're better at distinguishing the colors. I call it coal. You know this thing? I got the hair extensions on this one. That's good. I'm sure 
the guys at the sail loft are probably sweating about that right now. <laughs> Beautiful, wow. Yeah, that's certainly a more reasonable size. Wow, that will really make a statement. Wow, it's amazing. Might have been simple cruise from, I don't know. I don't think there's a way to pull this up through. Well, just to find the, the way. Yeah, you have to See, find each other. when they showed it in the video, they already had this thing down worked out through. Uh-huh. <laughs> they didn't say, how did you get it down through? Yeah, because it's not a pretty process, I guess. I'm like, ah, uh, it doesn't look good. We won't keep it in the video. No, this is like bound up or something. Let me see if it's easier to get my hand through when it's hanging or just... I always run up against these brick walls of fabric. Brick walls of fabric. Halfway there. This is like trying to put on my costume at the opera. <laughs> there we go, just keep low and keep pulling this up. Wow. Right. I see it. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. <laughs> okay, ready? Now this is the weirdest feeding frenzy I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so you hold this. like a dragon or a snake, yeah. of the whole sock in the bag first. So this sticks out one end and the head sticks out the other end. That way when you open the bag, you got both ends of the sail and the head of the sail. You tie them off and then just hoist. Mm -hmm. We don't want this buried at the bottom or obviously we have a problem. So maybe it would be like a, a, a loop and just start the bag from there? Nope, just grab right here and start pulling it in, stuffing it in the bag. Be wary of these big 
cool beanbag chair. <laughs> She's good. She's strapped in very well. Thank you so much. Go on. No, he's here. <laughs> very good. Yeah, it's just some of the tape. Let go about an inch down further than where it used to be. So we need our duct tape. Se como la carga de combustible de los portaaviones en Estados Unidos. Face is screwed up in consternation. Oh no! What happened down here? Look. Look. So did it find a new place? Yeah, there's. Oh, it's... We are not getting out of here alive.